In this video, we are going to be solving solving the UNEB UCE pass questions, um, even as you prepare for your 2022 exams. Now, um, this is a previous pass question, and we are going to be treating each of the questions. Now, question one says, if seven raised to power y is equal to 24, find the value of y corrected to two decimal places. Now, for you to solve this, so seven raised to power y is equal to 24. So the best thing you need to do is to take the log reading of both sides. So I'll do log 7 raised to the power y is equal to log of 24. Now, you should know from the rules of log reading that when you have log x raised to the power b is the same thing as b log x. Okay? So having known this, this will now be y log 7 is equal to log 24. So, therefore, we'll make y the subject of the formula. This will be log 24 all divided by log 7. So, when you punch log 24 in your calculator, you are going to get 1.382 all divided by, I think, 1.3802 all divided by, this will be 0 0.845. So when you do this divided by this, you are going to get 1.635, which is approximately to two decimal places, 1.64, final answer. So that's exactly how to solve question one. Now we know that to solve question two, it says two sets A and B in the universal set E are that um, A intersection B is equal to 3 and B is equal to 5 and A complement is 7. Use a Venn diagram to find A union B. Now, let's draw a Venn diagram. Okay, so this is my A, and this is going to be my B. So this will be my A, and this will be my B. Now, notice it says A intersection B is 3, so here it's going to be 3. Now, um, if B is 5, to, uh, um, to get B... You're going to do um, that for you to get B only, B only will be N of B minus N of A intersection B, which will be, this will be um, 5 minus 3, that means B only will be 2. Now, it says A complement is 7, okay? So, take note of that, then... Uh, now, this is going to be our A union B complement. That's all the things that are not in A combined with B. Now, let's call, let A union B complement, let it be X. Okay, so from here, we can see that our A complement is um, 7. Now, A complement means those elements that... Are not in A but can be found in the universal set. That's 7 is equal to, so I think it's going to be equal to x, which is also here, plus elements that can be found in B, that's um, 2. Therefore, x will be 7 minus 2, which will give us what? 5. So that means our A union B complement is equal to x, which is equal to 5. Question 3 says, in the diagram below, the line ROS cuts the x-axis at R and y-axis at S. Determine the equation of the line ROS. Now, notice, the point at which it cuts this at S, Y, it's going to be, um, x here is 0, y, y is what, 4. So let's call this x1 and y1. So at this point, we'll call this x2, y2, and this is going to be at x is minus 2, at y is 0. So for us to determine the equation of the line, you know that the equation of line is equal to what? y is equal to mx plus c, where m is our slope. So let's get our slope. Where our m is supposed to be change in y, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now, our y2 is 0 minus 4, 
and our x2 it's uh, minus 2 minus 0 this is going to give us our m is going to be minus 4 over minus 2 and that will give us 2 now having gotten our slope our y will be equal to that's 2x plus c so um, in order to get our c which is our intercept um, we need to um, solve this equation at x comma y being 0 comma 4 so from here our y is 4 and x is 0 so we are going to put this into the equation so this will be 4 is equal to 2 times 0 plus c and from here you can get your c as 4 therefore you can represent your equation to be y equal to um, 2x plus 4 so this is the equation of your line so if you are just coming to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you can get more videos from us. Question 4 says, express 0 0.8454 as a fraction. Now, um, x, let's equate x to be um, 0 0.84545. Okay, so... Um, if you multiply both sides by um, 100, we're going to have 100x will be what? That's 0. Point, okay, this will be now be 84.545. So I'm going to call this my equation 1, and I'll call this my equation 2. And I'll say equation 2 minus 1. So this is going to be 100x minus x is equal to 84. 0.545 minus 0 0.84545. Now, when I do 100x minus um, x, I'm going to get what? 99x is equal to. Now, when I do 84.545 minus 0 0.84545, this will give me 83.7. Now, from here, x is going to be what? Um, 83.7 all divided by 99. Now, in order to divide this, um, I will take out the decimal place by multiplying both up and down by 10. So this will be times 10 times 10. So this is going to give me 837 over 990. Now, um, what can divide across both? Um, I think um, 9 can go for both equations. So when you reduce this um, 9 into uh, 83, we're going to have um, 9 into 83, we're going to have 9. Remember, 2, 9 into 27 is going to be 3. And 9 into 990, it's going to give us um, 11. So our final answer, it's 110. Now question 5 says the coordinate of points A and B are minus 5 and minus 3 and 1, comma, 9. So this should be comma. Okay? So respectively, find the midpoint of AB. Now, in order to find the midpoint, first of all, you need to know that for your midpoint, x, comma, y is going to be x1 plus x2 over 2 comma and y1 plus y2 all over 2 okay so in order to evaluate this we're going to check this is our x1 and this is our x2 this is our y1 and this is our y2 so this is going to be minus 5 um plus 1 all over 2 comma and this will be minus 3 plus 9 all divided by 2 okay so this is going to give us uh, this will be 1 minus 5 that's 4 over 2 this is going to give us 2 comma this will be 6 over 2 uh, okay this is going to be minus 2 why this will be 6 over 2 that will give us 3 so this is our midpoint midpoint final answer now in order to solve for the length of a b i i length now to find the length of a line with two points 
your length is going to be square root of x2 minus x1 all squared plus y2 minus y1 all squared. Now, our length is going to be, we're going to put in our values, our x2, it's a 1 minus minus 5 all squared plus, this is going to be 9 minus minus 3 all squared. So, our length is going to be square root of, now this is going to be 1 plus 5, um, that's 6, 6 squared, that's 36 plus, now this is going to be 9 plus 3, that's 12, 12 square, it's going to give us um, 144. Okay, so um, from here, we can now do L will be equal to the square root of, when you sum these two up, you are going to get um, 180, and L will be, square root of 180 is going to give us 13.416, so that's our final answer.